Hey YouTube, welcome back to Roscoe Reviews. I am Roscoe and this is Hurley. And on today's pet episode, we are going to be trying out a pet companion robot. I'm going to be doing a little bit of traveling and I didn't want to leave my best little buddy at home all alone. He'd get lonely without me. So I was looking for a way that I could stay in contact with him. And at first I was looking at two way cameras where we could see each other on the camera, but I wasn't sure if I could get him to just sit there and talk to me. So when I saw this pet companion robot, it seemed like it checked off all the boxes. You can drive it around and find your pet. It has a laser pointer so that you can play with your pet on the ground. And it also dispenses treats so that you could talk to your pet, you can give him a treat, you can play with him a little bit, and hopefully he won't miss me so bad. I bought this pet companion on Amazon and my first impression when the box showed up is that it was smaller than I expected. I kind of thought that it would be bigger, but that's probably good because if it was bigger than my cat, then he'd probably be afraid of it. So hopefully it's small enough that he's not scared of it and he will play with it. So let's go ahead and unbox it and see what it looks like. There was no assembly required and it was ready to go right out of the box. I unboxed my pet companion and I looked over the instructions. The instructions were really user friendly. You just have to download the app and then connect it to your email. And it, uh, once you connected your email to the app, it set it all up for you. I didn't have to really do anything. It just brought a QR code up on my phone and said, hold this in front of the robot and it paired it all. And then now inside the app, I can drive the robot around And you can see the camera. Over here on the side, it will allow you to take a picture or take a video. Um, you can turn the mic on and off so that you can talk to your pet and you can feed them treats by pushing the treat button. I think it would have tried to feed, feed a treat, but I don't have any in there. To load, to load the robot, you flip the back open like so, and you put a treat in each of these little compartments and then it will spit a treat out, so we'll try that. No. No. Okay, we loaded treats in the bin, and I'm gonna try to spit one out on the table and see what happens. Oh, there you go. Spit out a little treat. Let's do it again. <laughs> that seems to work pretty good. Using the top right little icon, I'm able to turn the laser on. You can kind of see it on the table. It works a little better on the floor. This is a screen recording of Hurley's first time interacting with the robot. He wasn't really scared of it. When you move it around, it does make some noise. So every time I move it, he jumps a little bit. He really seemed to like the laser. He likes to play with laser pointers like most cats do. When I tried to feed him the treats, he does go over and sniff them. Unfortunately, these were new treats that I'd never given him before, and apparently he doesn't like these. So uh, we have tried it again since then with treats that he normally eats, and he did jump right in there and eat them. So not a fault of the robot. That was a fault of the apparently untasty treats. Next, I did a quick test to see if the robot would be able to unplug itself from the wall if I had it plugged in. The short answer is no, it can't unplug itself. However, the instructions say that the battery will last like three weeks. So it's got a pretty long battery life. You just need to make sure to have it unplugged when you're leaving town so that it's ready to be used. This final feature I actually tested by accident. I was out of town and I turned it on to see my little buddy at home and it was at night and I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to see him or not and I found out it actually has night vision. So this is footage of me actually playing with my little buddy from about 3000 miles away. All right, after playing with my new pet companion for the first time, I, I was pretty impressed. He wasn't scared of it, and that was my big concern, was that my, my cat's scared of all new things. And he walked right up to it, and I was able to drive real close to him. And that uh, video clip that I have is the first time that he's seeing it. So he hasn't gotten used to it at all, and yet he's still 
interacted with it. He really liked the laser pointer. I couldn't get him to eat the treats out of here, but they were new treats, so I'm not sure if he really likes them anyway. So it may have been the treat, not the dispenser. Some downsides. I wish that you could point the camera around without driving the robot. The camera is fixed in the front of it. So in order to look around, you have to spin the whole thing. And it does make a little bit of noise when it's driving around, especially on the tile floor. So that could spook pets a little bit. Uh, same with the laser pointer. I wish you could point the laser pointer around on the ground and not without moving the robot. In order to play with him, you have to spin the robot back and forth, but he still liked playing with it. So that, that was really nice that you can interact with your pet that way. One thing that was a little bit disappointing was the microphone. I was able to talk to him and I could hear Courtney talking back to me on the other end, but it was a little bit distorted. The quality of the sound that comes out is not that great and there wasn't a way to adjust the volume or settings or anything. It's just, that's the way it is. So you are able to talk to your pet, but it's fairly poor on the, the speaker quality. Overall, I think it was going to serve the purpose that I wanted. I wanted to be able to play with my cat while I was away. So he did like the laser pointer feature. So I think that will give me a way to sort of interact with him while I'm gone. One thing that, one of the reasons why I chose this robot was the battery life. The battery is supposed to last up to three weeks. Now that's going to depend on how much you use it. If you're using it for an hour a day, it's going to burn through the battery real fast. But if you just use it for a few minutes at a time, a couple times a day, hopefully it'll, it'll last me at least a week uh, and I'll be able to interact with them a fair amount over the week. Again, I picked this little guy up on Amazon and I will put a link for it down in the description of the video. For those that travel and want to keep in touch with their pet while they're gone, I think this is a great way to go. The, the standard pet cameras that you can place in your house and talk to your pet just sit in one location. And this way it can sort of go around the house and find my pet wherever he's at. He likes to stay in the bed sometimes, sometimes he's out on the couch. So this way I can go around and find him. And again, my favorite feature is that you can actually play with your pet with the laser pointer on the ground. So I think that was a really cool feature. I did see somebody write in one of the Amazon reviews that they attached a little feather thing to this and then their cat would play with the feather on a stick. So that's another thing you could do is maybe like tape a little stick with a feather on it so that you can play with your cat that way. Overall, I liked it and I think it's gonna serve the purpose that I need. It's gonna allow me to interact with my little buddy while I'm not here. So I hope you found this video helpful. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you back here next time.